Hey y'all, welcome back to Coco. I decided to do a makeup tutorial. Um, I stopped at TJ Maxx and got a couple of items that I think will benefit me with my tutorial I'm doing today. And then it was just some things that I just wanted to get. So I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio. And the color is blank, pageant, and cash. So I'm just gonna skim right through it. Not saying that I'm gonna use these items, but just want to show you what did I pick what I picked up. So these are the colors. And later on, I'll just give you, fill you all in on. Yeah. And I didn't pay but ten dollars for this. So sometimes when you go to TJ Maxx, you don't have to pay the retail value of the purchase. Like this one was really fifteen dollars, and I got it for like ten. So it was like a five dollar discount, and then the two ninety nine for the Elf. And this is the Aqua Infused Blush and Bronzer. So, this was $3. And I was like, maybe I should just get the um, the packaging. It's really pretty. Uh, so, I was like, maybe I should just get an Anastasia. But I just went on and got this one. Which is good. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to use these. Because I'm new to using bronzers and stuff. And I want to... I'm also looking at other people's channels just to see... Um, I want to make sure I'm doing it right. And then I picked up the waterproof eyeliner pencil. And this is Black Onyx. And this is my first time using all three of these items. So, I think I might use this one today. This is really deep. And then I also picked up the Grass Root Blending Set. So, if this one is... I guess I could just go ahead and open it. I might not use this one today. But uh, it's just with a little bamboo brush. And then... Of course, your blending brush. You may hit a dog. So, I'm just going to get into it since they want to interrupt my video. So, I'm going to go in right now with my eyeliner. And I normally just go in on my eye. I don't, I try not to go too deep, just real light. Because you're not going to really get the effect on them because. I wear glasses. So you really not going to get to see my eyes too much. So, so you really can't see it. But I just skimmed through it a little bit. Because you're not going to get the effect on anything. I'm trying to think, do this come with one pencil or two? Because it looked like more than one thing was to come in here. It was. It looked like two pencils were supposed to come in here. And I only had one. Look at that. They got me. I'm going to double check. Because it it's two. It's two. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. It's two pencils showing on here. So, I don't know. I need to. Because if not, then it got me. And then I'll go in with my LA girl. I need to get a new one, but this is pretty much what I have right now. And this is the brown. And it's GP704. Okay. Give me a second. I'm a little clumsy today. So I'm going to go in. And I have other um, brown eyebrow pencils because I've been trying to see which one um I would like I should have just put this on at the end but I didn't want to do my makeup on with a um, bonnet so so I like let me just wig it all out so I'm just gonna So that's this side, and then I'll finish up on this side. And I like my eyebrows a little thick. It's gonna be a quick video. I take much longer in the morning when I'm getting ready for work, but I get up on time, that way I can 
get everything done. So then I go under. So just this, this side and this side. And then this is um, the eyeliner I use um, every day. And this is Revlon. And this is Color Stay. This is really, really good to use. And then use the bottom part to smudge it in if you want the eyes more smoky. So I'm gonna go in, cause I'm kinda used to using this one. Just going a little bit. So, and this is also the dual eyebrow 24 hour flawless. And you can use this. I normally use my witch hazel to clean my skin. So I'm gonna um, do that because what happens with my skin, actually, I'm gonna use this. What happens with my skin, it gets really dry and I don't know what's, it's, it's always been like that. My skin always dry. It don't pretty, it don't affect my eyebrows or anything, but let me, let me do it like this. Cause I don't want, so. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of rich hazel. And it's kinda like, for me, it feel like it wake my skin up. Cause I have a lot of blemish, which I hate the blemish. Blemishing on my face, I hate it. And then I have freckles as well. So can't see when you have blemish, but I have freckles as well on my skin. Then I go in with the Pro Conceal, and this is actually the color Espresso, and it's GC985. If you can see it, probably can't, but this is the name, and of course it's Espresso. So I go in under my eye. I don't apply my foundation until I, you know, make sure everything is straight with my eyebrows. So I go in like that and I need to get some more espresso because I have um, beautiful bronze but I need to get some more because I think this is my favorite now using this one I used to use MAC concealer not sure of the color I forgot because I haven't used it in a while not even sure these probably don't even sell that one anymore but I saw a young lady on YouTube use, and she was my complexion, and it seemed like it worked for her. So I was like, I, she was using beautiful bronze. And one day I was like, well, let me go ahead and try it out. But when I went to restock and they didn't have um, beautiful bronze, so I was like, I'll try espresso. That's probably just a step down. A shade down from what I normally get and then it just stuck with me getting it so I accidentally wiped some mess off so all you gotta do is just go in because I'm moving too fast so skim through this so you go in it normally take me 15, 20 minutes to do my makeup, but I'm not gonna make this video that long. It's just, uh, this will be, I don't wanna say a quick one, but it's just gonna be a tutorial when I do, because this is not what I do every day. So I need to go in again, cause I see that I, um, my eyebrow is not straight that I drew on. And this will become a headache sometimes with the eyebrows because you want everything to be perfect. And sometimes it just don't work out like that. Sometimes you'll have one big, one time you have small. And that's the part that irritates me sometimes. Especially when I'm trying to not make my video too long. Just want to show you all some of the products I use. And I'll put in the, um, if I don't put in my, in the description, I'm pretty much telling you right now what I'm using. So I go in with this as well after I use the LA 
the LA girl. So I did that. And then I also have um, billion dollar bras and it's like a bra gel and it came with other things with this too. Like the guide you through your um your makeup. So I normally put this on because I wanted to stay on just to protect it. I don't like um I just do it like this. I dab it. I don't roll it. Because again, I don't really have eyebrows. So I'll do it like that. So this is how it looks. Um so then I'll get my Fancy Beauty, and this is number 450. Um, this will, this is the uh, the matte one. I haven't had time to get the other one that she came out with, and I think that fixed fit my skin tone better because because this is a dry foundation. It's matte, and again, I my skin texture is dry, and I really don't like using. Um, Dry, putting dry on dry, but when I use the witch hazel, it helps my skin. So, um, I'll go in with my brush. This is my foundation brush. Um, and this is a flat top foundation. I purchased this at Target. I forgot the name of it, because of course, I didn't tell you all that I went there and got that. So. I'm going to get this. I'm going to go in real light. I don't put it on real heavy, but I go on real light. So you see that? I go on right there. I'm going to go right here under my eye. I'm going real quick. I'm sorry, y'all, about the. My kids and my dogs. So I'm going in. It looks like I might need another one. Another pump. So, in the total, I put like four pumps. And all that right there. And then I'm going in real good. In the middle. And then sometimes I fade it in right here for my eyebrows. But. Just a little bit. I don't do my neck. Or I'm about to go in real good. Oh, really fast. I'm going to mess around. So I don't put a lot to the point that you not going to see my blemish anymore. I don't do it like that. Because um, I still want to look like me. Um, so I just go in a little bit. Okay. I got the hair everywhere. It's all in my eye. And we cannot have that. So, so, I still want to look like Coco when I go in. So, if you see this. Okay. Then I'll fade it in right there. So, I'm done with this. Um, I think my top's in here. For some reason, the top keep coming off. Don't ask why. It just happened. And I like to keep it in a container it was it came in okay so now and i normally use this as well but since i bought the new brush i don't really have to go in on my skin with that okay i'm knocking everything down i'm gonna have to fix this up okay because i'm making my video too long now okay so i do my i'm gonna do my lips last so i did this and did my eyes. So now I'm going to go in with my Morphe. All right. And this is my, I like this palette. I think I told you all about this real briefly. But one of the my go-to colors is, let me take this out. My go-to colors is right here. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And I don't even have the, the names of it, which is weird. I thought I had it. Let me see. I do. So the colors that I use a lot is Afterlife and then, well, sorry, Foxy Rose Gold and Polished Steam Beam and Ember. So I use these a lot. Um, I, this is my favorite brush. I got this from, um, the name came off of it, but this is a good flat brush for your eyes. So I'll go in with this.
you can see. Okay. I'm getting a lot of talking in the background, y'all. You know, sometimes you, you think you get, it was quiet before I did this. Then all of a sudden, everybody want to clap and bark and some more stuff. But I apologize for that. This is the normal, the normal life. You're um, a mom and a wife. This is the norm. You think you had your quiet time. And just before you know it, somebody want to call, sneeze, bark. And you're like, okay, thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm, come again. So I got all my brushes in here that I use. Of course, I have the um, the stainless Marc Jacob brush. So today I'm just gonna use this one. Cause, and then I'm gonna go in with my favorite. It's a little gold. It's not even gold. It's, um, I guess we could say it's gold. But, yes, Foxy. Not really feeling foxy, but <laughs> we're gonna put her on a day. So I um in the meantime while I'm doing this, I did upload my video that I my very first mukbang that I did with my husband. It's either mukbang or mukbang. It's one of them. I'm so new of doing it. I feel a little comfortable doing it. It was it was fun. It's fun today. I mean, I was in a car, but it was fine. It was, it was different. And I like going to the Amish market and trying out their food. It's really good. Sometimes it can be a little um, bland. So it's a little bland at times, but I mean, I guess it's good for me. I, well, somebody trying to start their new diet. So, this is the eye. I may need to go in a little more. But, you know, everybody do their makeup a little different. I just chose not to make mine real, real heavy. Um, I don't like doing um, makeup real, real heavy. Because um, I'm the same person I like to put her hand on her face a lot. So, that wouldn't be good for me. Um, and then again, I told you... This is my first time actually wearing foundation like that. So let me clean it. I do this after the video. So, so I'm going to go in with my current. Okay, I don't have to sharpen it. Sorry, this is the Night Moth. My, my fault. So this is the Night Moth. And this is, of course, my... Most people do this with the flat, but I do mine with the tip. Um, every, It's your choice how you want to put your... Um, that liner on. It's kind of like a routine thing. You've been doing it for years and then, you know, you're not open to changing, which I need to do. Okay, it look like I need to fix this a little more. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my And this is the MAC Dance With Me. Uh, it don't matter how you put it on, but once you put the uh, lip liquid lipstick on, but sometimes I have a bad habit of overdoing it and then as the day go it crack it start breaking off don't get me wrong it lasts all day but you just gotta be careful cause it'll start breaking up okay alright so I'm not gonna use this anymore and I forgot to put on, and I picked it up. I forgot to put my prep and prime on. So I normally put my prep and prime. 
I'm going so fast and I apologize for that, but I usually put my mac and prime on. That will stop my lips, well, at least slow it down, won't be as bad uh, with the break. Um, you know how your lips so dry and then it'll break up. This normally help me with that. Okay, I'll put that in afterward. But they normally help me, and let me fix this wig. Get to fix the wig, yo. Cause now that I got my foundation and stuff on, you know. I try to spice it up for y'all and, and don't wear my wrap. This is until the braid time. Cause you know, I went to see Chris Brown and I didn't, I wasn't feeling good, but I went to see Chris Brown and I was like, I need something real quick. And I'm still feeling a little sick, but you know, I'm like, I don't want to go sit in a chair for 11 hours with braids. So I need to get something quick. So, which I got a wig. Um, cool. I was so excited and I had this sucker on. It was better, but I don't think I've been waiting for a week. So it, the curls and stuff is just not vibing with me anymore. But this is my look for the day. Um, don't forget to prep them. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I don't know why I bought All Nighter, but then I put that on and let that set. I need to get some more of that. And that will, that for, for me, it wake up my skin. Um, so if you can look, see, I didn't take away all the blemishes, but again, I want to look like me. I didn't want to put so much because I'm a type of person I get real hot and I touch my face as well. So I'd rather just put something on just a little bit. Um, I don't know if I hit all the um, necessary spots, but you know what? Since I'm, I did buy this today, let me see how this look. I'm gonna try this out today. I'm gonna do it with y'all. You know why I do it off camera and I'm here? Okay. No, the head won't fly right away. So, I'm going to go in with this color. I'm going to go in with this. Okay, wait a minute, y'all. Because this, the wig here, like, you ain't going nowhere in. So, I'm going to go in with this. This light pink color. I'm going to go in with that. Let me see how it look. Okay. So, let's see how this works. It, it, it don't look like it's coming out. Mm -hmm. Maybe y'all can see it. Can you see it? Yeah, I see it. Can push that in. I mean, that brown might pink not bad. Bad. I don't know. I might want to do brown. Let's try it on this up. And this is blush. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm feeling it. Okay. Okay, you know what? I'm not feeling it, y'all. So let me get my brush and bring me back. So I'm not feeling it. So I'm just gonna, um, I might have to just play around with it or, or maybe I just have the wrong shade for my complexion. I don't know, but I'm gonna just try it out and just see if I like it. Um, clean my brush. So, what is that sticky on it? Okay, but these are good brushes. I got these from Target as well. When I remember the name, I'll let you all know. But yeah, got my wig. Bring it in some. So this is my look, quick look. Still look like me. You still can see the blemishes. Actually, you still can see the blush. I mean, it's not that bad, but I'll just work with it. Um, so if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you're more than welcome. Make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you can see any videos that I update you all with and bring it new to the channel. Like I always say, live life to the fullest. You only live once. Why not enjoy it while you're here? And thank you for tuning into my channel, y'all. Bye.
Perfect. Perfect.